Kobe, tell me a little bit. Obviously, you're a known name everywhere around the States right now and beyond. Tell me how it all started. When I was actually nine, I started, uh, I got signed up Full Force back in the day. They, uh, they did a lot of stuff with Lisa Lisa and Nicole Jam, Justin Timberlake, Usher, and Sing, Britney Spears, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, I did a lot of stuff with them. And um, at 10 years old, I got signed to Motown Records to sing on the studio soundtrack. Uh, actually, before I signed to Akon, I had six independent albums. Wow. So, you know, I've been at it for a long time. So, um, how did it come about working with Akon and actually meeting Akon and getting signed to him? Actually, my management, they hooked it up with some connections they had. Uh, I got in the studio with Akon, I played in my demo. Um, played in the demo that I did, that I produced, um, self-produced. Uh, you know, he, he loved it. And from there I got with him and several times after that we made songs from scratch and together. And, uh, you know, the chemistry was there, so, you know, he asked me to sign to his label, and, you know, we did, and we went with it, so. Now, obviously, your, your first single with him, um, what you got, that's already gone platinum, it sold over a million copies, it's got crazy, yeah. zillions of ringtones and everything, I mean, how does it feel? Because you, obviously, you've been working on it for years, so, yeah. to get to that point? It feels great, I mean, just to sell so many copies and have so many fans out there that love my music, is amazing. You know, hopefully, I'll do as, as well on my, uh, hopefully I'll do as well as my second. And um, I also noticed you, you've got your first billboard and you've got the album coming out. When is it? Uh, the album's dropping September 16th. And has it got a title? Uh, Kobe L. Now give me um, a typical day in the life of Kobe. Uh, just, you know, it, there's a no typical day really. It changes constantly. So uh, I couldn't really say what it was. But when we wake up early, like 4 or 5 in the morning, go to do the morning shows and do a few more stations after that, a lot of interviews on the phone between all that. Uh, you know, then I got to do a show in the afternoon, sometimes a club show at night, and then just repeat the same thing, but in a different state the next day. Catch a flight, go to another state, do the same thing. But it changes constantly. And do you get to see all the places that you visit? Do you get much time? No, I don't get a lot of time to really go anywhere. Um, I just get time to just go there, go to the hotel, get dressed, go to the venue, do what I need to do, get back to the hotel. Close my eyes for an hour or two and then head out to the airport. Now you've been on a tour with Akon and Rihanna, Mario, Chris Brown, you're going on tour with Janet Jackson later in the year. Yeah. Now how does it feel to be on stage like opening for these like huge names? It's great. I mean, it means, you know, I arrived. You know, I'm finally on the same stage as these people so it's amazing. Amazing feeling to just be able to open for these, these amazing acts. Was it kind of uh, hard to get used to just having all these people screaming at you? Nah, because I've been, I've been doing this for so long, I've been preparing for it. So now I'm finally there, so it's like, um, like yes, I finally made it. Yeah. Have you ever had a situation where it got so crazy it's been hard for you to get out of a building? Yeah, yeah I've had a few of those. <laughs> the Chris Brown concert was one of them. When I finished, I walked out of the backstage and there was thousands of girls lined up at the gate. Which was cool because I was in the VIP section where my car was, so I was good. There was nobody uh, coming out. Um, but. I was like, you know, I'm loving the fans. I went inside to go walk up to the gate and touch the hands of all the fans and stuff. I went up to the gate, went to touch the hands, and grabbed my hand and yanked me against the fence, and I was like stuck. Security had to like rip me off, and I was like, all right, yeah, this is a little too crazy. I can't do this. So we went um, to the car and drove out, and as we were driving out, the girls just swarmed the car, like, because we had to get out of the VIP section to get out. So we were in the crowd, and they just swarmed the, the car. It's actually on my MySpace, which is Kobeo.com, C-O-L-E-Y-O.com, the video of, of that. Right. They swarmed the car and they would just push it back forward, jump, like trying to get in the car, it was crazy. So it took like 20 minutes to get out of the parking lot, that shit, it took about 30 seconds to get out of. Wow. So it was pretty, pretty nice. What's the nicest thing a fan's ever done for you? So many things, man. Just, you know, I've seen fans cry, it's so a beautiful thing. Um, it's so many different things happen, you know. Pick out one. I guess you're always giving me presents. Yeah, and I mean, they're, they're I'm always giving presents to fans. They always give me stuff or, you know, things of value to them just because they want me to have it. Have you had, like, any fans try to be kind of stalkers or, you know, uh, you found them hiding in ho hotel lobbies and things? Yeah, I had a few of those, but, you know, when I see them, I mean, obviously they love me enough to stalk me like that. Yeah. So I'll go up and walk and talk to them. Right. And I'll just sit and hang out with them for a little bit so that they, they get over that. <laughs> if I see someone stalking me, I'm like, alright, no, that's, no. And I go in and I just go sit and talk to them and be like, like, what's up, how are you, how's life, you know? <laughs> so that they, they see I'm just a regular cat, you know what I mean? Because uh, a lot of artists, they're too good to, you know, 
hang out with their fans or talk to their fans and then that's what creates the fans get so crazy like that because yeah. they don't get to actually get to know the artist but when I see that I'm like wait hold on and I'll go up and talk to them and be like hey how are you and I'd like let, let them see I'm just a regular guy that they don't have to scare me <laughs> <laughs> and it's working <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, look I mean, you can talk to me you don't have to, you don't have to have, oh, sneak after me you can walk with me <laughs> and, and do you find in general now your yeah. name's actually like out there do yeah. you find people are treating you differently now oh yeah going I mean, it, it comes with you know the fame I guess people will you know act differently now a lot of people that I knew before the, the fact uh, act way different now yeah after the fact um, but you know it was I was expecting that I knew it was gonna come with the it, it's part of the price you know fame is part of it so but I'm used to it I'm it's cool I'm not sure yeah I guess that's when you know who your true friends are yeah. and stuff yeah you can know and ha how do your family feel about it it's seeing you everywhere all over the TV well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're on the same page as me we work so hard for this so it's finally there so now we're just working harder to keep it there what's your favorite part of you know what you do is it like the producing is it the performing is it the recording it's whatever I'm doing at that moment if I'm in the producing, the, uh, like if I'm in that zone, like it's that at that moment. But if I'm performing at that moment, it's that or it's performing. It changes of whatever I'm doing because uh, I just love everything overall. So if I'm performing at that moment in time, my favorite thing is to perform. But then if I'm sitting at home and uh, producing music, then at that moment in time, it's producing music. So it changes. Now your lifestyle has obviously changed, and you're on the road a lot, doing everything basically. Is there anything that you don't like? I miss my family sometimes when I go on the road, yeah. yeah but uh, it's uh, my mom's home cooking, of course. <laughs> I miss that. Yeah. That's better. My mom's home cooking, probably. That's probably all I can think of. There's real no downside to what you're doing? No. I've, I've been chasing this my whole life. I don't know. If there was a downside, I don't know why I would be chasing it. Obviously, you've got girls chasing you, falling at your feet all the time, but is it easy, you know, can you get a girlfriend, actually, that's normal? Yeah, I mean, right now I'm single and always looking, though, of course. But, um... Put it out there, put it out there. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm sure I'll find someone eventually that I could care about. Because it's just about finding that one girl that can see that it's just... It's just a job, and if she can understand that, then we'll get along. Yeah. Because yeah, some people, they get caught up in the hype. Some girls get caught up too much in the hype. If they get caught up in it, and then that's that's when they start like, why aren't you ever here? And it's, it's just about finding that girl that can understand that this is just my job, and you know, if, she, if they can understand that, then we'll get along. Now, you work with many people as a producer also. Is yeah. there anybody huge that you haven't worked with yet that you'd really like to work with? Michael Jackson, probably. Or Usher. What advice would you give for anybody who wants to basically be where you are right now? Um, just, you know, work hard, you know, um, chase dreams. Just, you know, gotta be a hustler. Hustler, hustler. Definitely, definitely. Would you be able to play something for me? Just oh, a little. Um, yeah. Can you give you a little sample of one of my, my second single. So this is um, this is my second single. It's called Turn Back. That's actually the first time I ever did that, so. That was nice. What up, y'all? It's your boy Kobe O'Donis, and right now you are watching Remember Entertainment. Always talk about what you got. Always talk about what you got. Girl, you know that you need to stop.